So Banks Peninsula is such a unique and beautiful place. The dolphins have a really patchy distribution, so they hang out in certain areas that we call hotspots. And one of those hotspots is Akaroa Harbour. My father started the first cruise to go and see Hector's dolphins way back in 1985. Since then an entire industry has, has sprung up, uh, especially here in Akaroa. I think the main reason people come here, apart from the beautiful scenery, uh, is the dolphins. They're just really uniquely New Zealand. They're as, as Kiwi as the Kiwi. So the dolphins are currently protected out to four nautical miles, but we know that they go much further offshore. They're genuinely considered to, to be found out to about 100 metres depth. That's at least out to 20 miles offshore. You've got this crazy situation here in Banks Peninsula where we have this so-called sanctuary but just over here you can set a net during the winter periods and a little further out where the dolphins actually range you can still set nets so it's an insane situation that we need to fix. The number of dolphins being killed in fishing nets is for sure the biggest impact and if we could uh, extend that protection to the 100 metre depth contour, then we would be really talking. We could get that survival rate right up to close to natural levels. We used to find them floating around dead in the harbour here, um, dead on beaches, sometimes sitting next to a fish bin with a gill net in it. So the latest official estimate from the government, from Niwa, was 100 to 150 hectares and Maui's dolphins caught per year. These dolphins are really slow breeders, so already dolphins in general um, can do a population growth of only about 2 to 4 percent per year. And so that small amount of population growth that they're capable of, of 2 percent or so per year, they really need that. Well we need to back off on the impacts. And, and, and those impacts are mostly fishing, so we've got a big responsibility to look after them. Because if we don't do the right things, they'll slowly dwindle to extinction. We've got to start realising that um, we can't be selfish on this planet. There's a lot of beautiful creatures that have just as much right to be here. And if we want to live on the planet alone, um, we can carry on like we are. But if we want to actually have some of these beautiful creatures around us, we need to start changing the way we behave. New Zealand can definitely do better than what we're doing at the moment, especially around here, the, the sanctuary at Banks Peninsula. If we want to protect our clean, green image and 100% pure, which is how we're seen around the world, we absolutely have to do something with our own native dolphin. And as guardians, kaitiakitanga, of our environment, you know, we really have a responsibility to do a little better than what we're doing now for these dolphins. And we'd like uh, the New Zealand government to take action as soon as possible. I could take people out looking um, at the beautiful scenery here, but I think the majority of people who really would be disappointed if they couldn't see the dolphins. Um, you know, they're a very special creature, and I think most people are coming here to have a look at the dolphins. It would be a real disappointment if they couldn't see them, and a lot less people may come here if the dolphins weren't here. I mean, the Hector's dolphins here help support an entire industry, the tourism uh, industry, and there are hundreds of jobs, hundreds of people that rely on these special dolphins, you know, for their jobs, quite frankly. And uh, if the dolphins are t taken away from us, then uh, all of those jobs are at risk. And a lot of people are relying on the Hector's dolphins being here now and, and into the future uh, for, our, for our livelihoods, our jobs, and for those of our children. <laughs>